for a wider discussion about gay rights around the world. We are joined by Carrie Allen Johnson, the executive director of the International Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission here in New York. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Tanji. So we just saw um, gay rights advocates in Greece, as they have been in the United States, pressing for the legalization of gay marriage. Where in the world, tell us, is gay marriage legal today? Well, there are five countries around the world where gay marriage uh, is legal, same-sex marriage is legal. Um, a number of them in Europe, uh, but I would just also point out that South Africa is one of the first uh, nations in the global south and east to also uh, institute protections and uh, the right to marriage has been codified in that country as well. Are there many places still around the world where gay people feel that they have to be or there is a need to be closeted? Too many places, actually. The levels of violence against gay and lesbian, bisexual and transgender people continue to rise in many parts of the world. Um, there are multiple sort of strains of, of both movements towards um, including gay and lesbian rights in the larger human rights discourse. And, and at the same time, there's a lot of backlash against that. So uh, we find increasing levels of violence in, in certain parts of Africa and certain parts of the Middle East, and even in uh, the United States and parts of our country and in parts of Europe where uh, while there are protections being put in place, certain parts of society, such as uh, neo-nationalists, certain skinhead movements, are pushing back mm -hmm. um, and fighting against the, these, these trends through violent acts. Right. So, so give us a couple of examples. Let's say, for instance, in Africa, where there are countries that really concern you in terms of the, the treatment of gay and lesbian. People. You know, about two-thirds of the countries in Africa still have laws uh, that uh, criminalize uh, same-sex uh, acts and relationships. Um, most of these countries inherited these laws from their colonial powers. Um, we're particularly concerned about ways in which some of these laws are being strengthened in countries like Uganda, for example, where there's currently a law being debated by parliament that will make homosexuality both uh, it will increase penalties for homosexuality and will make certain types of homosexual acts punishable by the death penalty and the death penalty exactly for example uh, what's ref what's referred to in the legislation as aggravated homosexuality so if someone is hiv positive and has and is engaged in a in a in a gay relationship they can be actually with actually put to death under this new law that's currently being debated so anyone for example, who discusses gay and lesbian rights or tries to organize a movement even just to express their views and uh, is likely to be punished, arrested and sentenced to jail under this new legislation. All right, Carrie Allen Johnson, thank you very much for coming on the program and shedding some light on this, uh, this area. Thank you very much.